you tell me a bit more about advanced plasma power? Sure, we're uh, an advanced thermal conversion uh, technology. We take basically household residual and commercial industrial residual waste uh, from which we remove recyclates. Uh, we then produce a, a fuel, uh, and from that fuel, we produce two products uh, a very clean, high quality synthesis gas or syn gas, uh, which has a multiple uh, applications, and a solid product from the ash, which is a solid vitrified product which we've called uh, plasma rock which is extremely strong dense and leach resistant uh, and has multiple applications as a construction material uh, and we're developing other applications for it too the syn gas uh, which comprises mainly hydrogen and also uh, carbon monoxide uh, can be used for on-site power generation directly in gas engines or gas turbines which makes it more efficient uh, in terms of electrical generation um, or it can be converted into hydrogen uh, to be used in a fuel cell to, for on-site power generation or as a transport fuel. Uh, there are fuel cells being developed, high temperature fuel cells that could take the syngas directly, um, so solid oxide fuel cells for instance. Or well, lastly, a project that we've in, uh, embarked on with National Grid uh, to convert that syngas into bio-substitute natural gas, or bio-SNG, uh, for introduction back into the gas grid to displace natural gas. And is there much um, pu gas purification required? Uh, well, the, the, the combination of technologies that we have, uh, that we've patented, is uh, gasification uh, with a plasma uh, treatment technology, Plas both of which have been around for decades, have been uh, deployed in multiple applications. Um, and we've, we've combined the two, and the, it's the plasma stage that cracks uh, the long chain hydrocarbons in the crude syngas produced by the gasifier and it cracks it down into these long chain hydrocarbons down into their constituent molecules of hydrogen and carbon monoxide really the building blocks of all organic chemistry and uh, uh, it's, the, it's the high temperature and the UV in the plasma that achieve that um, cracking efficiency uh, other than that very little gas cleaning technology uh, is required other than conventional acid gas removal technology so waste uh, will have for instance uh, chloride uh, materials or sulfur materials producing hydrogen chloride uh, and, and sulfur dioxide uh, conventional uh, wet and dry scrubbing uh, to, to remove those those constituents and is this a, a, a very large market at the moment and if so do you have any competitors and maybe what's your edge o over them sure well the, the market really is is um, you know wa waste uh, is, is an increasing problem uh, globally we, we uh, the global pl population is expected to rise to nine billion people by 2050 uh, more and more of that population uh, will be uh, the, will be more affluent consumption will increase uh, and the waste problem is only going to get worse at the same time uh, landfill capacity and the acceptability of landfill as a solution uh, is in decline incineration typically uh, you know also less and less acceptable uh, so so from that point of view we offer a more efficient and a cleaner solution to a, to a growing problem uh, so in the UK uh, there are currently around 40 million tons of, uh, uh, of residual municipal and commercial industrial waste a year which are still being landfilled and there's an urgent need to divert that material from landfill to reduce methane emissions, carbon emissions, harmful methane emissions in terms of a greenhouse gas uh, and really use that material uh, from both a, a source of resources and a, a source of energy. And could you talk a bit about your project working with mining landfills? So uh, we have uh, been working on a project in, uh, in Belgium with a uh, uh, group of keels, uh, Belgian waste management uh, company, the first uh, project in the world to actually mine an existing landfill site. Uh, the, uh, wh what we've discovered in that landfill site is that there is still uh, a good fuel, uh, a high degree of biomass, which if left would continue to decompose, releasing methane emissions. So from a carbon footprint point of view, very beneficial. But also resources. This is a landfill site that entered operation in the 50s uh, when source segregation and recycling were, were not uh, well developed. Uh, obviously in Belgium particularly are extremely well developed now. Uh, but there's a, a very rich source of, of materials. Uh, in fact, around 55% of what is dug up can be recycled uh, and reused. Uh, with the remainder uh, uh, producing a good calorific fuel uh, to put through our plants. And uh, where, where, where do you see your company and technology going, say, in the next 10 to 15 years? Well, our aim is to be a leader in the waste uh, to uh, uh, conversion 
technology space, so waste into all the different applications that I mentioned. Really, the, the gateway being the production of a clean uh, syngas. That's the absolute key to these um, um, other applications. So whether it's uh, more efficient generation in uh, gas engines or turbines or fuel cells or the production of, um, of methane, production of uh, liquid biofuels, for instance, aviation fuel or, or ethanol, uh, the absolute precursor for all of those is a, is a clean synthesis gas. Uh, and so we, we, you know, we see ourselves uh, hopefully occupying a space of, um, you know, of, of leadership uh, globally in that area and therefore you know, from, a, from a UK, a British economy point of view, uh, become a major exporter in that, uh, in that space.